Well, if you become a full-time nomad, you will be disconnecting from society in one sense of speaking. You're uprooting your life and you are not going to live in an apartment or a house, which 99% of society does. So just by the very nature of permanently living on the road, permanently living in a vehicle, whether it's an RV, van, or car, you are not connected to the vast majority of society in how they live and how they function. So there's a certain mindset and there's a certain lifestyle that, you know, the nomad life brings. And what you'll find is there's a bucket of people. You know, some of the people are destitute with mental problems, drug problems. Some of the people living full-time on the road are retirees, and some are adventure seekers. So I think you got those three bucket of categories of types of people that live full-time as a nomad. People that are like almost truly homeless, there's a real uh, desperation there. Uh, maybe they want to live uh, in their vehicle, uh, and that's their best way to survive, because homeless shelters and the system is not appealing to them. Uh, and so it's just a way for them to survive. And so that category may have mental problems or drug problems, which I've seen on the route. And again, there's a category of people that all their life, they've been connected to society. They raised a family, they owned a house, they may even paid off a house, but they got very late in life in their sixties, seventies or eighties. And they decide to disconnect from the regular life that they live their entire a lifetime and live this non-conforming life as a nomad. And then there's a group of people that may be middle-aged, uh, maybe single, that are adventure seekers and want to live a very creative, inspired life on their terms, which I think I would kind of mainly fall into that category. And so no matter what category you may find yourself in as a nomad, you are disconnected uh, uh, in the very nature of your lifestyle as a nomad. Not a bad thing, you know. Uh, your community is no longer one town. Your community is no longer one church, one uh, culture of people, one weather pattern of a state, of a town. You know, you are a, a bird. So your weather, uh, your, your climate, your culture, your environment, that changes on how you change, whether you travel as a snowbird, whether you constantly travel. Uh, or however you're going to live. There are some static nomads that stay in one area for a major period of time. And uh, I've done that before uh, on my journey. Uh, until I could uh, secure a remote job, I stayed in New Jersey for about a year and a half. And what I've learned in, in this lifestyle is you just have to be prepared psychologically to disconnect from society while still respecting the rules of society and being able to navigate the outer edge of society. Because it's legal to live in your van, RV, or car, but you have to park legal and, you know, there's different rules and regulations depending on the town or city you're in. But, you know, if done right, you know, you're, you're not breaking any laws, especially if you, you know, mix in campgrounds, staying there and doing different things. And so it, it's allowed by society, but it's very rare in society. And there's not a lot of rules and, well, there are a lot of rules, but there are not a lot of things in place to make your lifestyle <clears throat> very uh, smooth in society. You have to be a little bit of a go-getter, an independent mind, um, uh, someone who can go and get resources instead of having resources readily available to you. And <clears throat> for most people, that burns them out. And th that's what makes being a long-term nomad an unsustainable life. And thus, the, eventually they buy another home base or they get an apartment or eventually the retiree says we're getting too old to live on the road. Uh, so, you know, there's a wide variety of things. Few people stay on the road forever. But for the amount of time that you live on the road, you are disconnected from society. And you'll see some people with mental problems, they take a, a spiral down um this road and they feel like an outcast, they isolate themselves and it can be very dangerous. And you have to be cautious to really focus on taking care of yourself well and not, 
and not getting disconnected to the point, you know, it's like where, where you totally lose the connection with humanity. That's what I'm trying to say. You want to disconnect from society, but not disconnect from humanity. And look, I, I'm not a huge people person per se. I don't like a lot of crowds. I can deal with it. But I think for a healthy mind, a healthy mind, you have to have a level of a certain amount of connection with humanity, whether you deal, you talk to people in the gym, you talk to people in Starbucks, because there's something to be said. That's part of a well life, okay, in my opinion, my experience. So this video is to say, look, I still four years living full time as a nomad. I've lived a nomad life and I've lived a conforming life for 15 years. I owned a house. There's pros and cons to both. I still think the nomadic life for some people, not most, statistically, most people wouldn't do well in this life. But for some people, it is a great life, the nomadic life. There's sacrifices, but it's great. It gives you a lot of opportunity to really uh, change some things in your life, live in a unique way. But you have to be very diligent and cautious not to disconnect from humanity and then like spiral out of this control where you are your only voice or your only person speaking to yourself. And it just becomes an unhealthy cycle. So, you know, I, I like being disconnected, but I also see a, a value of some connection. Okay. And so that's what I want to share with you. I hope these videos help you in some way. Um, thank you to all my members who support the channel. If you'd like to support the channel and be a member, click the blue join button. You'll get unlimited access to all my live feeds, which I do every day on this channel, God willing. Thank you to those who click the thumbs up. I also have a playlist on my channel, document my journey, my experience, and my thoughts. Thank you for all those who add a positive uh, aspect of my channel. I appreciate you. Gratitude, appreciation. Keep pushing forward one day at a time.